what's up guys and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time and this video is way overdue i got two messages via my dm on because i promised to actually make a video for people who have pcos which is polycystic ovary syndrome so today here i bring it to you if you have pcos and you're trying to conceive this video is for you stay tuned and don't touch that button because i'm going to come back right after this Like, share, and subscribe. Welcome back, guys. Like I said earlier, this video is for women who have PCOS and are trying to conceive. And these are just like five different things that I will say, okay, will work for you if you should try it out. I know they're basically things you know before, but I'm just trying to remind you of them so that you know that these things are very important in on your way to childbirth or conceiving. I'll tell you the first one is always check your BMI. BMI is Body mass index. You have to check. You have to check your cholesterol level. You have to make sure that you're fit. You know, definitely with PCOS, you have a diet you are going to take. I'm going to upload a video on diet you should take and things that you should consume if you have PCOS for to live a better and healthy lifestyle. So it is very, very advisable that you always check your BMI, your body mass index. Because when you check it and you measure the level of fat composition in your body, you know whether you have enough of LD fat in your body, you know the level of, and you know whether you have to work out, you know, you, you will know whether you have to do some things to break out on excess fat that is lying around. The second thing I'll have to say is eat LD. We, we cannot overemphasize how much you have to eat LD. We cannot overemphasize how much you have to stay healthy, how much you have, you have to do things in it with like with the intention in mind that you are living a healthy lifestyle, how you have to cut your diet to eat LD. It cannot be overemphasized. Number two, we have you to always check your ovulation. You have to use your ovulation tables. You have to use ovulation stick. You can buy all of from Amazon and it will get down to you. Ovulation stick are very important, especially when you have PCOS. So you know when you use it, just read the instructions on the ovulation stick. Some brings out a smiley face. Some will just tell you that oh yes, you are actually ovulating because you know with PCOS. It's not every ovulation, it's not every month you're actually ovulating. You're ovulating, but it is not, um, your eggs are not releasing, if you understand what I'm saying. So definitely, this tip will let you know that, okay, this month is a good time to actually try to conceive. And I would say the last but not least thing is um, checking your sugar level. That cannot be overemphasized. With PCOS, you have to cut a lot of things in your diet so that excess sugar will not just be accumulating in your body. And you know, when you have sugar level, even during pregnancy, it is something that is very, very dangerous for you and your child. So definitely you have to cut in your sugar level, anything that you know is bringing in excess sugar, you just cut that off and you have to monitor what you're eating, even carbohydrates and things that will break down into sugar or glucose at the end of the day. You have to make sure that whatever it is you're consuming, consuming, you're consuming minimal of. I'll be uploading a video next and I think with these few things I've said, you should be able to um, I know these are things you know already, obviously, because you have PCOS and you should have researched about it. But I'm just trying to um, let you know or remind you. I'm, I'm just trying to remind you that these things are essential. I have to keep on doing it to live a healthy lifestyle. And especially if you're trying to conceive, especially getting all these things and doing all these things cannot be overemphasized. Some people might just overlook it and feel like, oh, this um, is not very necessary or it's not working. It actually works so you have to just try and invest a little bit more energy into doing all these things and following it accurately the way it's supposed to be thank you guys for tuning into today's episode and i hope you guys would learn a thing or two or share to your friends you don't have pcos and i also hope that you guys will take into this instruction and put in a little bit more energy and effort to actually do these things so, so that you get the maximum results you are actually looking for. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you subscribe to this video. I hope you like the video. Share with your friends and family. And click on the description bell right side subscribe button. Drop a lovely comment down in the comment section. Thank you guys. And see you next time. Next time we'll be talking about what you should eat. Okay? Um, we'll be talking about what you should eat and consume if you have PCOS. Thank you and see you next time.